Listen, someone is feeling exhausted and worn out right now. This person, who you were once close to but have since distanced yourself from, is feeling drained. You've taken back your energy, your love, and attention from them. Whether they were a family member, a friend, or someone else important in your life. Now they're tired of pretending. They're fed up with putting on a fake front and wearing a mask. They're exhausted from trying to impress others with flashy appearances, pretending to be someone they're not. They're worn out from the manipulation and control they've tried to use, especially because it's being done to them now too. The burden has become too much, and it's making them feel unwell, both mentally and physically. They expected you to come back, to reconnect by now. I've said before, someone drew a line and turned their back. You stood your ground and removed yourself from the situation, and it's affecting them deeply. They had gotten used to you, always trying to make things right, to fix what was broken. But this time, you've truly walked away. They're overwhelmed, thinking about you constantly, even if they don't show it. They're feeling the weight of everything they've done. You were a blessing to them, and now that you've pulled away, they can sense the difference. They thought you'd return, but you've changed. God has pulled you back for a reason. Your heart feels different now. You may still care, but it's not the same. God has disconnected you, allowing you to heal and move forward. It's time to let go and trust the path ahead. Your heart has changed and it's no longer something you control. In the past, you might have gone back, trying to fix things or make them right. But now, you don't feel the same. God has shifted your heart, and this is part of your healing process. Meanwhile, the people you've distanced yourself from are feeling unwell. They expected you to reach out, to come back. They thought you would call by now or return to the way things were. But you haven't, and now they're tired. They're exhausted from playing games, pretending, and acting like they don't need love. Some of you were the wake-up call these people needed. You shook them from their foolishness and pettiness. But while doing that, you may have been hurt. God saw this and decided it was time to pull you back. If you're in a season of isolation, don't question it. Maybe this isn't the first time you felt this way, but now it's different. You need this time to rediscover yourself. God is rejuvenating you because you've given so much to others. As you go through this, let God strengthen you. Don't resist this period of being alone. It's meant to build you back up. The people you left behind are tired of feeling this way, but that's their journey now, not yours. For those who are listening, it's time to take action. You've been watching from the sidelines long enough. Whether it's writing a book, going back to school, or starting a business, the time has come to step out and do what you were called to do. You have gifts and talents. Don't let them go unused. It's time to stop watching and start moving forward. Now think about that for a moment. This is about letting go of the past and pushing forward toward what God has planned for us. It's not about holding on to what's no longer useful or serving us. Instead, it's about keeping our eyes on God and moving in the direction He has called us. Some people may have expected you to turn back like you always did. They thought you would reach out to them again, but now they're feeling lost and empty because you didn't. The games and manipulation they used to play no longer work on you, and they're starting to feel the impact of your absence they feel the void where your encouragement and love used to be, and it's affecting them deeply. This isn't about boasting or feeling proud, but just understanding that God is working behind the scenes. He's breaking these people down, but it's not really your doing. You were just the spark that set things in motion. 
Now focus on yourself and keep moving forward. God is handling everything else and he can do much more than you ever could. Some people didn't realize what they had in you until you pulled away. They were relying on your energy, your support. Now they have to find their own strength. They have to do the work and build themselves up instead of feeding off what you gave them. If they refuse to do the inner work, they'll find themselves stuck in the same cycle, possibly feeling down and defeated again. This isn't about the person themselves. It's about the spirit they're carrying. I remind you of this because it's important not to hold anger toward them personally. Don't let yourself fall into that trap. It's their spirit that couldn't connect with yours, not at that time, because you were already growing, even if you didn't fully realize it. You tried to hold on to them, but when God cut that tie, they began to feel the loss. Now they're worn out and struggling. You're handling this differently now. In the past, you might have gone back and forth, maybe even argued or gave them your time. But this time, your strength lies in your growth and self-love. You're picking up the pieces, loving yourself more each day. You're allowing God to show you new things and help you grow. You're feeding your spirit daily, finding messages that nourish your soul. It's all about growth and self-love now, and that's how you're cleaning up the mess. They may have written you off, but God counted you in. The moment they dismissed you, God stepped in and lifted you up. They mistreated and underestimated you, but God was right there, picking you up every time. They may have tried to disqualify you, telling you that you wouldn't achieve anything, but those words are lies. Don't let their opinions define your reality. You've withdrawn, and they're feeling it now. They have to figure things out for themselves, just like you did. It's their turn to grow. We often speak about these things, but many people don't realize that we've been through similar struggles. We're not perfect either. We've had to heal, grow, and overcome challenges too. Just like they're going through now, we've been there. Here's the thing. They're struggling because they thought you'd come back by now. They were sure you'd reach out, but it's been a long time and you haven't. They're tired of playing games, tired of pretending, tired of putting up a front. Keeping up negativity takes so much energy and it's draining them. Some of these people have been stuck in this cycle for years, but now, because you've changed, you're making them confront themselves. You've awakened something in them and they can't hide from it anymore. You've become a mirror forcing them to see their true selves. You served as a catalyst for their awakening, but that doesn't mean you have to be there while they figure things out. You're no longer someone's emotional punching bag, constantly trying to drag them along while you get hurt in the process. That time is over. Now they're the ones feeling drained and exhausted because they expected you to come back, but you didn't. Your decision to change has left them questioning if you ever really cared. They've never seen this side of you before, and it's making them wonder. For so long, you were the one giving, loving, and being there for them, even when you didn't have to. But they didn't appreciate it, or maybe they just weren't able to. Some people don't know how to love themselves, so they can't love others properly either. Now, they have to go through their own journey of growth, They've never seen you act so distant before. It's not that you've become cold-hearted, but rather, you've finally prioritized yourself 